Moving on, I want to talk quickly about some zero emission um, costs, which is a huge pre prohibitor to higher adoption rates. And what you see on this slide is total cost of ownership. Um, and that's for us, that includes everything from owning, operating, and ultimately reselling, purchasing uh, the, the truck. So what you can see here is the red bar and the blue bar are fuel cell uh, uh, and battery electric. And they're significantly higher than where the diesel is, even in as we transition to uh, into the 2030s. The reasons for this include we see a significantly higher purchase cost, uh, running cost for the hydrogen cost we talked about, a payload penalty for, for battery electric trucks um, because of the weight. Those things are not going to change. Those we see as the biggest um, prohibitor to the cost coming down closer to diesel. Um, but the other point I want to make here is as we look to up this model in this forecast in the coming months, it's, it's almost looking like the costs may even rise or stay the same compared to where we were a year ago. And you can see some of the reasons for that uh, listed here. So a lot of the companies in, in this market have had uh, issues with their battery supplier, um, lack of economies of scale, inconsistent order forecasts for suppliers, and uneven BEV ramp up. So those are some of the things that can contribute to cost economics. And we're really not seeing uh, a significant uh, push to reduce costs, at least um, as we look today and maybe you know in the short to midterm. So those are the, some of the things we're going to look at at cost. But again, the main point also is that we don't see a full TCO uh, at diesel parity until um, you know it here in the graph showing to the mid 30s.